What about um, on the label side? Have you, because are you still independent? Yeah, I got a distribution deal with Create Music. Shout out to Create. They distribute a bunch of people's shit. Yeah. But that, you're fully, that, for people who don't know, that's, he's independent. Um, yeah. What about signing? Is that something that you've gotten close to doing or is that something you're, con- like, you would consider doing? Because I'm sure that the labels have called. Multiple labels um, from Gucci Man. Um, QC was from the sign me once upon a time. I done met with Epic Atlanta. I put to meet with Atlanta probably like last week, a couple of days ago, or something like that. A lot of labels though, but it gotta make sense to me. Remember? What was the closest? Because Gucci, I mean, Gucci's, I always say Gucci's probably the greatest hip hop AR of all time. Yeah. Um, did you, like, how serious were you when it came to maybe getting with, with, with Gucci or QC? I wanted to sign a Gucci so bad, bro. But it just not to put the prices out there. I just couldn't sign for a hundred thousand. Like that's not a hundred thousand was the deal. Yeah, hundred thousand, and I'm like, I got that time, which motherfucking in my bank account. You get what I'm saying? Right. And jury, I'm plus up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit. Okay. It was a respectful decline. Yeah, but I still assigned some. But it just got to make sense, a lot more sense. Or even if we do like a collab or. Feature or whatever makes oh, one sense. off yeah. album or something. You get what I'm saying? Like it just gotta make sense. But far as a full on artist deal, me signing to you for a hundred, hell no. Nah. No, nah, that's crazy. Yeah, hell no. Nah. I would tell you don't sign anywhere for less than a million dollars because yeah. you're making, you're you know making saying? my royalty good, checks a month. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying you're making good money off of, off of what you're doing right now. Yeah, and it, you're you're owning everything. You own the Same masters. Shit with PQC. Um, but this one, what the shit with QC? I was dead broke. Like and he tried to give me one hundred and fifty k in my face, and I was like, "Damn, I'm just saying, just thinking like, fuck, fuck." It went through, and um, I was talking to the like people I was working with, like my management, but mm-hmm. it ended up not like going all the way through. So you almost did that one. Yeah, I almost. I was close to doing it, but then at the end, it was like, nah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that takes a lot to uh. Pass up on, on on money like that. I mean, and know yourself worth. A lot of artists. I think that that whole entire record industry is based on big companies taking advantage of starving artists. And then nowadays, though, I don't know if it's just I'm pretty sure everybody see it, but it's like I, every time I get on Instagram, I see artists is complaining about their label, like, "Oh, don't sign to this." Meek oh. Mill, Young, I mean, everybody. And by the way, we're talking about Atlantic in both cases, so it's probably best oh, you miss that saying, meeting. Sign to Atlantic. <laughs> I didn't know that, but I just be seeing that shit down there like every fucking other day. That somebody complaining about their label. That shit's scary, bro. No, it's scary because once you sign, you can't say I want to put this out tomorrow. It's like nah, we got to sign off on it, and then guess what? Uh, your budget is this. You got to pay this. I mean, it's a shitty loan, is what it is. It's yeah. a it's a high interest loan. Exactly. So like if if you would have taken that, I don't know the details of, of the deal, but if you would have taken that hundred thousand from Gucci. You would have probably had to have made a million back off of that hundred for you to start seeing money again. Exactly. So you would have had to have made that hundred last for a while. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the advanced game. And most most big artists that we're talking about, you talking about Meek Mill, YG's been very vocal about. I saw Fredo Bang say something about Def Jam. Right. So what the, what, what, Wave, the, the reason why these guys are so mad is because every time they drop an album, they get an advance check. Mm-hmm. And that's the last money they see from that album because yeah. they make it so hard for you to recoup that million dollars every time you turn in your album that you got to make that stretch or you got to get them that show money or you got to get that endorsement money mm-hmm. or you got to get your features right. Because unless your album is in like Roddy Rich Diamond, you know, like some shit like that, you're probably never going to see any money off that album. And so that's why you see all these huge artists saying "fuck the labels," but at the, at, but at, but at the same time they sign those deals and they yeah. and they gladly pick up that advance check when they turn that album in. What they could do is say, "Keep the advance, take the album, and I just want to get paid my monthly royalties off the album." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'd be way it's the fun. short. It's, it's it's the long play, not the short nut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when artists get angry and uh, I don't feel bad because I'm like, "Yo, you you sign like." 
Some of these dudes are grown ass men. Were I ain't gonna say I don't feel bad, but some artists really don't know. I feel like if you were young and you were super vulnerable and you got signed that way, that's yeah. one thing. But yeah. some of the artists we're talking about in the game, they know have re-signed many times. Yeah, and it's like you know this shit. So like yeah. you you know what you signed up for. Like yeah. you signed the fucking paperwork. You got the best lawyers in the fucking music industry. Like they. Get some then, new. That was a problem too. I ain't really have lawyers like that. You gotta have, have a lawyer. Front to pay, so I'm like, I ain't even for the play with myself. And don't let them be like, yo, we know a good lawyer. We gotta look, yeah. Because we then they're to. gonna fuck you. Get your own lawyer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, nah, keep running up the bag ind independently. When the right situation crosses your table, you'll know, bro. Keep ownership. Own your masters. Don't sign no fucking ho ass split because these fools will definitely try to get you to take. Seven percent of your music for, for they want to take your whole catalog. They want to, and they're like, "Oh, by the way, that independent catalog yeah. I create, we'd like to bring it over here to Atlantic, and we want to own it." Yeah. Would you ever sign to like somewhere like an Empire? Because Empire is uh, a distro shout situation. Empire, shout out Empire. I think I own. Uh, they sent me like a little distribution deal or something like that to start off, but if it made sense, yeah, it just got to make sense to me, bro. Mm -hmm. I can't just be out here just. You know what I'm saying? If I bring, I, I know what I bring to the table. I know what my numbers do on of course. Apple, the Spotify, the YouTube. I know what I do. So it, for me to just give up some of my royalties and my, you know what I'm saying, masters and this and that, it got to make a lot of sense for me. 